Hey Bixby, what's inside my fridge? What in the world? Hello guys, how's it going? It's Nathan. This is your friendly host, Robot Masters. Um, basically, this channel is all about cool tech products. And today we have something really, really cool. This is the Samsung Bespoke Refrigerator. Who would have thought refrigerators had screens, connect to your smartphone, have cameras built in, be able to change settings on your washer and dryer. Everything's all interconnected these days, and this thing is crazy. All right, so let's go and just jump into it. I'll show you the features, show you some of the specifications, the screen, and some unique features that the Samsung Bespoke fridge has. Now, before we begin, let's talk about Bespoke. So a lot of these companies throw out the word Bespoke. Basically, Samsung's Bespoke series allows you to customize the refrigerator. For example, you can change out the door panels. So, let's say you don't want the gray on gray, you can have it pink, you can have it white, you can have it black, you can have it green, whatever you may want. Now, this model also has the Family Hub. So, the Family Hub is basically a large Android screen. It's believe it's like 17 inches across, allows you to interact with the fridge, you can also interact with other connected devices, and of course, you have voice assistance, which is pretty cool. I'll show you those features later on. Now, this model is the largest model, it's 29 cubic feet, and you know how it sticks out from my countertops. You want something that's a little bit more streamlined? Well, you have the 23 cubic foot option, which is the counter depth version. Um, sits a little bit more in depth, makes it flush, but you lose that space. Now, the Samsung also has a four door option. So for example, you would have a third drawer right here to pull out for your fruits and vegetables. That model's a little more expensive, but you can also get it with the screen as well, or you can customize the door panels. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you some cool features with the Samsung Bespoke Fridge. A secondary door, which has this unique feature. Let me just show you that right now. I actually put my finger underneath. What's unique about the beverage center is you can actually put your fridge, maybe a tea bag, and it will automatically fill up when you put the pitcher back in here. Now, one thing to know, it only does cold drinks. I don't believe you can do hot drinks or set the temperature. It's only for cold water. So that's just one thing to consider. I know some fridges actually have a hot water dispenser. So if you want that, you might want to look at a different model. But this is pretty cool. So all I have to do is just stick it in here and it'll automatically uh, refill. Now, let's go ahead and open up the entire unit. Close this up. There's actually another handle. And we'll just kind of swing this guy open. Let's wrap here. Uh, I guess I can just do one right now. That actually sounds pretty good. Oh, I probably messed that one up. <laughs> and we have some additional drawers. Just do it right there. And also there. And here's our water filter. Just twist. There's already water in there. So, looks like we actually have two ice dispensers. Uh, you can do normal ice and a little bit smaller ice. Uh, for the ice cube right here. Uh, one thing to note is this unit does not dispense ice from the door. It actually, you have to scoop it from the bottom here. So, pros and cons. And there's a bunch of accessories down there. Can you guys see that? Alright, there's a bunch of stuff. I'll let the wife deal with how to set all that stuff up, but... Okay, so the first thing that probably catch your eye besides just no door handles is this large display. You do have the option to go without it. So if you want more of a clean look and have the option to customize this color as well, yes, bespoke means you can color code each of these door panels, have it whatever you like, that is an option. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, just tap it to wait and it should go to my YouTube channel. Click it again. All right, there we go. Robot Masters, yes, there's my channel. As you can see, I do a lot of crazy tech products but this is probably one of the craziest of all. All right, so like a lot of these smart fridges or like Android tablets, you can click the home button right here and this is your main interface. 
you can always change this out. But I think my favorite part is the little whiteboard here. I just click on the notes. And of course, I can leave notes to my uh, family members. So for example, the daughter's coming home. Maybe I want to send her a happy face, letting her know that she's doing a good job. And I could record her voice. Hello, Caitlin. Uh, I'm proud of you. I'll keep up the good work. Hello, Caitlin. Uh, I'm proud of you. I'll keep up the good work. That does not look like a tree. Uh, where's the brown here? Do I have brown? Okay. Yeah, that's a really bad attempt of a tree. Let me show you the family hub and how you can control certain devices. So for example, if you have like a ring camera system or you have a nest to control the thermostat or for this example, Samsung washer and dryer. So I put a load of dirty clothes in the washer and let's go ahead and get that started. Just click on the washer there. And within the SmartThings application, which is preloaded on the fridge, I can do a few things. I can set the temperature of my washer. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do hot. Click OK. Also, since I'm a pretty dirty person, my clothes get super dirty. Let's go ahead and uh, change that to uh, heavy duty. I will click OK. Now, let's go ahead and start this guy. All right, so it looks like it's going to take about an hour and 14 minutes to complete. And if I go ahead and jump back into the main screen, it will show the status right there. So one thing you do is if you double tap on the screen, it will instantly go to the three cameras built inside the fridge so you can monitor it. I'll show you. As you can see, I have all the uh, food right here. But one thing to note is you can see like the condensation on the camera is kind of washed out. Uh, so the quality is not the greatest. You also create a food list as well. And again, it tells you uh, when stuff's going to expire. And from this list, you can actually create um, recipes. And you can also send this to like a uh, grocery list. So let's say, for example, your brie cheese, you're almost out. You can send it to your smartphone. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, the wife actually likes it. Okay, so let's talk about some additional features. So when I wake up the screen, um, if I scroll over to the right, I actually can create cards. So I have a several cards I created. Uh, here's the recipe uh, menu right here. So whatever you have in the fridge, I actually recommend certain recipes. And my daughter likes this. This is like a little blank screen for her. So she can add notes and uh, different things when she gets home. So let's talk about one unique feature. Uh, this is a widget called Samsung TV Plus. So for example, uh, we like forensic now, files. Immediately upon hearing of the possibility of consumer primary concern for the health and welfare of our consumers. The news that the we can mute. And let's just go and jump back into here. Change channels. So that's handy if we're in the kitchen and you want to have uh, something play in the background. It also has two onboard voice assistants. Bixi and Amazon. So Alexa, what's the temperature? Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 78 degrees. Have a good morning. Hey Bixby, what's in my fridge? Hey Bixby, go to internet. Alexa, back in the kitchen. Okay, here's our robot home. Okay, I'll tell our robot Roomba J7 to vacuum the kitchen area. Alright, so let's go and give you my final thoughts. Um, overall, this is a pretty nice fridge, but it's not for everyone. If you're into technology, you want that screen, or the bespoke series to customize the door panels, Samsung does have some cool options. Also, I believe LG is offering a similar style of uh, models. Now, if you're looking into more advanced features, fridge-wise, freezer-wise, um, you can get some lesser models uh, from different companies, but they don't have the screens or anything. So that's just something to consider. 
I hope you guys liked this video. If you want to see more tech projects, stick around. I got some more little vacuums and some other crazy products coming in my channel. So thanks so much for watching. You have a great rest of your weekend, weekday, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.